Well, I mean, shop wise, whenever I can, I love to shop off of Etsy. Um, I love to try to support local designers um, as much as I can. Um, it's hard. This is such a wasteful industry, you know, and we do sadly in contemporary television, which is a really fast paced turnaround, have to really indulge in fast fashion, which is something that I think is like very, it's not great. But um, so when we have the time and when I can, I like to shop locally, find the little boutiques, um, shop vintage, find even Etsy stores that are local if we have a quick turnaround and there's not shipping time, but send someone to pick them up. I just bought a ton of vintage t-shirts from a local Chicago shop that I found online. So that's kind of my go-to when I do have the time. Um, Netta Porte and Mr. Porter are also like my always my go-to shops. Um, I've been on shows before where the accountant's like, no more Mr. Porter, because they turn things around so quickly. They always offer their overnight delivery. And sadly, like speed is ha what you can get here quick is half of the job. <laughs> Yeah. I don't know if I have a secret weapon. I think it's so dependent on the job and, and what, you know, what time period you're in or what, what you're supposed to be doing. I mean, the, the, the maybe more obvious answer is a costume rental house where you have access to, you know, a multitude of periods and, and what, and that can just even be used as a source of inspiration. Um, whether it be you're looking at something that is historically from the twenties, but you're using some elements of that for a futuristic or a superhero type show. You know, you can find elements that you physically can touch and look at and, and understand sort of how they work. And I think that that is a useful tool for sure. You know, it's, it's really funny. I, I think, I think the go-to, and it's not really a go-to, but I find part of the process, I, I was, I was actually, um, I was looking at something on Instagram and it was historical. It was something, uh, something back a hundred years ago. And, um, there was this one particular aspect of someone's clothing but all of a sudden it jumped out at me and I thought if I was doing umbrella this year, this would be perfect for Klaus or not this per se, but some, something reminiscent of this. And the thing that I find that happens when you take on a project is that you become like a magnet. So all of a sudden things that you would not normally focus in on or notice even, um, become very relevant in your life and you sort of go down these paths of discovery um, that are specifically related to the project that you've just taken on. And um, that's not really a go-to, but it's something that I've noticed over the years when I, when I start a new project, all of it, it it's like it opens your eyes differently. Um, you know, some, sometimes when I've done biographical things, um, and if there's a, a very unusual mode of dressing for a person, you know, that, that lived and, and breathed and you want to represent clearly, but there it's a, a fictional story sort of with certain um, historical truths behind it. Um, and you have to create new things. I'll sketch a lot, like just uh, looking at the original um, uh, clothes or designs or whatever, and I'll sketch and sketch and sketch and, and things will kind of evolve into new things. Um, I don't know. I, it's, uh, it must be a little different for everybody, but I find for me, um, that's again, part of the thing that I find just so interesting and, um, attractive about, about doing this kind of work because sometimes I, you know, I'll be sitting there and I'll sort of think, I think those on actors, like, what is this about? Like, it sort of seems like a silly job. And, um, but when I talk to you and I sort of, start explaining this type of thing, I think, well, actually, it's kind of a cool thing, so. <laughs> Shh.
Sure. I would say we help bring a character to life from the script into physical form. It's a really a collaboration process between the costume designer, the actor, and the director. You just heard from Lindsay Keir, owner of The Costume Consultant and the sponsor of today's video. Are you interested in working in the costume industry but don't know how to get started? The Costume Consultant created by Lindsay Keir is a service specifically designed to support your dream of finding costume jobs as well as advancing your career. There is a common misconception that costuming work is only for people who live in cities like Los Angeles or New York, but this simply isn't true. Lindsay has been part of costume teams all over the world, including Canada, the United States, Australia, and Hong Kong, and she can help you turn your passion into your career as well. So set up a free 10-minute discovery call with Lindsay. Click on the link in the description below and begin your journey today.